Hello boys and girls, welcome to Scott Rudds. So where were we? I think I was on my way to get something and then something bad happened to my truck, didn't it? My truck's dead. How am I going to get the coupe to a safety test? Oh yeah, flasher unit. Three pin flasher unit, which is how all this started. And I've got a LED compatible one in case I want to fit LEDs at the back. Okay, let's continue then. But before I can get started, I need to clean up the carnage left by my truck repair. So I'm not going to bore you with that. I will be back when it's done. So I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Here we go. Marginally better. Got some work space there. Got my bench back, tidied away some of this stuff. A lot of this stuff is for the, the hot rod project anyway, so I'm not bothered about tidying that away because I know where it is. Right, so what are we doing? Let me show you. Today I'm going to hook up a three pin flasher unit. This is currently a two pin flasher unit, as you can tell by the two wires. But for my little switchy doodah, for it to have the little green lights coming on to signify if you're going left or right it needs a three pin all i need to do fit my three pin and run the wire from there to the switch and we should be good we should be good we should be so let me show you the wire it's coming from inside here i've got it running through this tube anyway there's a whole bunch of wires there's only two that go to the flasher. The third pin from the flasher goes to the fuse box, right? So it's this blue wire. So I've got another blue wire ready. I'm going to put a female connector on there, plug that in. on The other end, it's got a spade connector, run to the third pin of the flasher unit. So let me fire that on. It shouldn't take a minute. Strip that one a little bit. Twisty, twisty. You know what, I'm going to double this, fold this wire over, because it's a wee bit loose in the hole. <laughs> Stop it. Ram that in the hole. Pinchy, pinchy. Tug, tug. This is ridiculous. I need to shut up. Right, plug that in there. Feed that over there somewhere. And I'll see you on the other side. Yes, I need to time up, tidy up all my wiring, but for now, we're still at the testing stage. Right. Unattach or detach, some might say the old flasher. Take a note of what have we got here? X and L. New flasher I've got E, B and L. I'm going to take a guess that the L goes to the L. But for the other ones, who knows? Let's try the blue one on the E. Just for a laugh. <laughs> and 
instructions would be great. And the blue one going to B, because it's B, you never know. Although that's a black one, that might go to B. Oh, who knows? Let's try it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, eh? Okie dokie, ignition is on. We're looking for a, this green light coming on when I press down. And nothing. And nothing. Oh, I guess those wires are around the wrong way. Let me swap them over. Right, swapping is done. Let's try again. And nothing. Um, what have I done? Oh, look, there's a wee diagram there. So, ah, the positive is the one on the left. What the L stands for? I'm sure this all means something to some people that are watching, but I'm clueless, as you know. Okay, we'll do the one on the left positive, the one on the right negative. I mean, that's really dumb, okay? The one on the left is the live, but it's marked E, and you would think E is Earth. The one on the right, that's the Earth, and the one in the middle at the bottom, the blue one, that's the signal, apparently. All right, let's give it a shot. Down for left, yes, green light goes up, perfect, and it's ticking away. It's not as loud as the, the two pin one, so I might not hear it when the engine's running. Make sure the hazard's working. Awesome. We'll just check the lights at the back, make sure they're still on. Why is there no lights? That's not right. See if the indicators are working at least. <sighs> okay, one more thing to try. Swap the blue and the black over. Right, they're swapped over. Now it's ticking, but there's no flashy on the switch. But the lights are working. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, I've tried every combination of those three wires. And this is the only combination where the lights actually work, but the, the little green lights on the switch aren't coming on. So that was a complete waste of time. So when that flasher says it's LED compatible, I wonder if it means LED only. That's the only logical explanation, that there's too much power being drawn to light the incandescent bulbs, that it doesn't have enough left over to light the, the little signal wires. Who knows? Let me know if you've experienced that with an LED electronic flasher with normal, normal bulbs. I'll leave it all wired up like that anyway. There's no point going back to the two pin. Uh, it's doing the same thing anyway, so. Well, folks, I wanted to do a quick simple, preferably successful little project today to get me back into the swing of things with the hot rodent. So that was an immediate fail. Oh well. Don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Kind of, kind of. Ah, you know what, I'm happy. I'm happy because the truck's back on the road and I can get back in Bugsy. Right, thanks for watching. Complete waste of time. I do apologise. But hey, we're back and look. Sunshine, sunshine for a day. Hello, here we are. Okay, please subscribe. Lots to come, lots of snow to come, so you can laugh at me trying to work in the snow all winter. See you in the next one. Bye bye.